Hi everyone, this is Penny. Penny and Creations, how are you today? I hope you are having a beautiful day. Everyone, I am sitting in my favorite position, <laughs> which is, uh, let me not say that, <laughs> which is uh, on my bed and I am working on my temperature blanket. In a couple of days, I am due to report 90 days. But what I wanted to show you is this yarn. Now, the blanket, the temperature blanket I'm working on is the Lion Brands. Um, it's, it's put out by Lion Brand, okay? And the recommended yarn is the Schitt's Creek, which is, is fine, okay? So, what the, the it's, it's nice. Let's just say that this is nice yarn to work with. And I will be going over this a little bit more in depth. In depth. Now, what I wanted to go over because I need to open this yarn, so I'm not going to be able to explain to you at a later date. Now, you see, you see right here, the yarn right here. This is how it came to me. Mm -hmm. See? See? So, of course, it's, it's not going to be able to have a, it's not going to be able to have a center pull. I can probably find it, but I doubt it. I doubt if I can find the center pull, okay? So, and what I have been doing after I've used a lot of the yarn, I have to cake it but you say why cake it because unfortunately it, i cannot pull it from the center because the yarn is extremely soft and, and when we have soft yarn it has a tendency to collapse on you so you have to keep it in a firm Keep it firm so you know it just doesn't get away it become a sloppy mess and usually what I do I take my the label and I keep it folded over and tape and that to keep it nice and firm so being that this is really soft I cannot pull this from hold on. I cannot pull this from the outside because oh this is um boho brown because it's so it's so soft that it gets a little sloppy you know because it's it's wind the way it's wind is wind lightly. It's not wind up tight. Mm-hmm. So it's wind lightly. So I say I, Calvin, have to put this in a cake. Okay. See? And that's still a problem. Okay, I can't, he just cannot wind this and put it in a cake because it doesn't hold its form in a cake wise. It flops down and becomes um, a little bit sloppy and it doesn't have that, that shape as a, a cake when you wind up a, um, a ball of yarn on the um ball wind that doesn't keep that shape it's 
it's too soft for that. So what I came up with, and I'll show you now, it's, it's really beginning to become a mess. I need to stop messing with this, okay? But I need to do two rolls in this boho brown that I can give it to Calvin Axum to cake it up. So what I came up with, because Calvin was saying that every time he make a ball, it comes out like this. And see? And you're like, what is that? You know, it's nothing in the center where you take it out the ball winder and you can hardly get your label in there. And I suggested to him, I said, just, just try it again. Just take this one and rewind it again on the ball winder. And sometimes... It did come out a little better, and just sometimes it was just no. Because when you have to go down and pull up the yarn off the barrel, I would say, um, sometimes it's so soft, it's just difficult to grab it and bring it up. You know, you have to really use two hands, and then it's just a process. So... I said, I know what to do with it. And, and this is what I came up with. Now, this brown thing right here, this is a tissue, tissue holder. And we have to use, and a paper towel holder. So let me see, let me look this one a little closer. Let me just look. No. This one right here is a tissue holder. And this is where Calvin learned that the tissue holder ones, the brown paper, um, that at the end of the roll, this. What he discovered, being that this has, has, hold on, 372 yards and it's a medium four, this, has too much yardage for the tissue toilet tissue one so i i also had some empty paper towel um holders so he took one of the paper towel holder and he cut cut it a little bit longer than the toilet tissue holder and used that now the ball winder I have, the cylinder, I called it a barrel before, is of course a little chunky. So the toilet paper or the paper towel holder would not go around it. So he has to take it apart and then use tape to hold it. Now on the nitpick ball winder, this fits on a nitpick ball winder perfectly. Okay, so I know you're wondering why do I have extra toilet tissue holders or paper towels? Well, I started holding on to them during the pandemic because I said I was going to go on Pinterest and see what, you know, what can I do? What can I make? And then I had a big bag of it. It was hanging. I just eventually, you know, I just tossed it because I wasn't doing anything with it. And then I started back um, collecting them again. So that's why I had it. Of course, I still haven't gone on Pinterest to get some, um, some creative ideas to use them. But around the house, you know, you can use this to um, level furniture for shims, you know. So that's why I had them. Now, so this worked like a charm. And when Calvin has to take this off of the ball winder, he can easily feel the bottom of the paper holder and hold it 
and it comes right off without a problem. It doesn't collapse on him or anything. And also, it's a nice, I can still get my label in here with no problem. See? Mm -hmm. Who knew, right? Now, going back to this one. See how soft it is? It's extremely soft. And sometimes soft yarn has a tendency not to not to go on the ball winder um, as pretty. And I just caked up a hank of sock yarn and I had the same problems. Um, and I had to use the toilet tissue holder to keep the shape. So I used to do two, Tip Tuesday on on Tuesdays, and it's still Tuesday, so we can still call this Tip Tuesday. But see how nice? Mm-hmm. It's nice and neat, right? Yeah. So maybe you can, um, if you're having a problem um, putting your yarn in cakes and it just flops down or it's difficult to get it up and it becomes a mess, just try using this little tip and that should help you. Yeah, you can remove this. See, it comes right up if you want to. But I don't because, like I said, you know, I can fit my label in here and nicely. Mm hmm Really nice. So I thought I was going to go over it, but... um. As of now, most of my yarn is caked up, and I'm still waiting for some. I just ordered yesterday to come from Joann's, and um, it's probably not going to be here until Thursday or Friday. So as I needed this boho brown, I said, let me just explain this to my friends and family that um, if they having problems caking up soft yarn, then... They can just save paper towel holders or tissue holders and use that to keep the form. And for some strange reason, it just, it it holds it. The the paper, it holds it. Now, I don't know if they they sell those um, toilet tissue and paper towels without um, the paper. I know they do have that on the market. If you have... Um, write in paper, copy paper, you can use that as well. You can use that as well, okay? All right, everyone, I need to get back to work because I'm a couple of days behind and I have to report in pretty soon. Don't tell on me that I'm behind. <laughs> Thanks. Enjoy your evening. Bye.